Hello, hello, hello! You want to grind Renown and Dragonflight for Transmog, Gear, Mounts or anything really? I'm here to help. Each of the four factions will be timestamped in the video, so click whatever faction you are interested in. Before we start, if you don't care with which character you grind, pick a human character. Saves you around two and a half to three Renown, depending on the faction, which is around three to five hours saved. And use reputation buffs from world events such as the Darkmoon Fair, or other holiday events such as Hallow's End. For all the factions, do all the possible quests. I recommend to use the All the Things add-on to find quests you might have missed, both the normal dailies and the dailies that we set in the middle of the week, and lastly all world quests preferable with a reputation contract. Most world quests are for 3.5 days except the pet battle world quest which is daily and two PvP world quests with one only being visible in war mode. There is also the option to abuse the reputation buff. If you get Venon 10 with a faction, every other character on your account gets 100% reputation buff to that faction until Venon 10. Simple math, if you get Venon 10 by questing, total of 50,000 rep, you all would get to Venon 10 with only 25,000 rep, as he gets 100% extra. Your all would still have half of his quests available and would achieve Venon 15. The same would work with Venon 20 for the 200% motivation buff, but your alt would only be at Venon 22.5 after all the questing. The Venon rewards are all account wide, so if you do the stick to get Venon 13 with the Tusca, you would be able to fish up equipment. More about the specific example in the Tusca part. Starting with the Dragon Scale Expedition. Every expedition supply treasure rewards you with a Dragon Isle artifact which can be turned in at the base camp in the working shores for 50 reputation each. Once you are Venon 5, with any character on your account, you can buy shovels from the Quartermaster to find and dig in dirt mounds, a more common type of treasures. For every normal expedition supply, you can usually find 4 or 5 dirt piles. I suggest to buy the sturdy expedition shovel made by Blacksmith, as it had 20 charges and only costs about 150 gold ish to make. I also made a very detailed guide about the treasure farming. You can click in the top right now to see it. You can make around half a Venon level per hour, a bit more, a bit less depending if you grind during prime time or not. On Venon 6 you unlock climbing world quests for more reputation, on Venon 7 dragon riding world quests and on Venon 8 photographing world quests. Venon 8 also gives you the option to unlock the banner trade near the quartermaster to place 20 flags around the dragon eyelids for 250 reputation each, for a total of 5000 reputation. Lastly, for weekly, there are two kill quests in the base camp, rewarding 350 reputation each. On Venon 16, you will also see magic chest, not particularly common, but useful nonetheless and contains dragon isle artifacts. Overall, after finishing all the quests, you can achieve Venon 25 with 25 to 30 hours of pure grinding. Marup Centaur is the second faction. There is always a grand hunt up in one of the four Dragon Isle zones. Each hunt has six steps, with each step rewarding 50 reputation upon completion for a total of 90 rep. The first three hunts of the week reward you with extra trophies for around 800 more reputation. After that, the final stage rewards you with four trophies, which can be turned in at Hunt Instructor Basco for another 60 reputation. One trophy is 25 reputation. Once the hunt is completed, a new one pops up in the same zone. Every zone has three spots within their zone, except Tidrasos, which has only two, and they always circle the same order. For example, in Azure Span it's west first, then east, and lastly south. And repeat. Every two hours the hunt swaps the zone, but it's a two minute flight to the next zone, then it's the same three hunts circling in the same zone. To get reputation, you should, but don't have to, join a 40 man group, and technically you don't even need to participate within the hunt, you still get rep as long as you are in the area. Do what you want with this information. Most events of a stage, for example Kill Blitz Tusk, will also reward you with one trophy bound to a daily lockout. For other sources of reputation, we have four daily quests at the moving caravan for an extra 1600-ish rep per week, 800 per set, twice per reset. If a good 40-man group, maybe even two 40-man groups, you can get around one Venon per hour. Overall, Venon 25 can be achieved with 15 hours of grinding. Arguably the most relaxing grind, as you can chill quite a bit. For the Iska, Tuska boys and girls, we have our, as most supervisors already know, the community zoo. Every three and a half hours, Big Kunuk in Azure spans 
calls for a community soup where you help him with ingredients to make a soup. Each order you complete rewards you with 25 reputation and the weekly next to him grants you 500 reputation. Little unknown fact is, the closer you stand to Big Kunuk, the more orders you get. Upon being on 13 you can grind fishing equipment, but we will get to that in a second as the issue is getting from Venon 9 to Venon 13. Many Azure spawn one-time wares rewards you with 250 reputation upon completion, with some unique wares such as Fisherman Tinak rewarding 850 reputation, but he only was up once in 13 days. For repeat area wares named Gnal, Blisterhide, High Shaman and Snaggerbone rewarding 50 reputation each daily. On the right side of the Waking Shores, after reaching Venon 5, you can unlock two different dailies, rewarding you with 150 reputation each, one is bugged right now and only gets 50 reputation, and the option to turn in fish in batches of 20 for reputation. There are six different types of fish, with the first completion rewarding 250 reputation, and the first turn in of each fish batch rewarding 100 reputation, and an infinite turn in of 20 of any fish for 5 reputation. Yes, 5. So technically you can buy all your way to Renown 30, as example, on you, you could pay 400k per Venon level. Another daily is at the Ice Hole Camp in Azure Span if you are Venon 10 for 150 reputation. Hidden all over the Azure Span zones are also Tusca totems, which don't get marked on the map measures, which can be turned in for 15 reputation. As they are very difficult to spot, don't expect more than 800 reputation per hour with those totems. Doing all the things should have gotten you to roughly Venon 10, maybe 11 as human. Now we have a couple options to Renown 13. Wait up for a reset of dailies or world quest, grind totems for reputation, buy your Renown levels via fish turn ins, or quest a new character to abuse the reputation buff I was talking about at the start. Whatever you wish to do upon reaching Renown 13 on any character on your account, as well as Dragonflight fishing at 50 or higher, you can fish for fish equipment in ice worlds in Azure Span, at prismatic schools in Onharan Plains or at Venon 15 at Magma Treasure Schools near Lava in the north of Waking Shores. Each fishing equipment item can be turned in at Tavio in Azure Span for 150 reputation. Rumors has it Magma Treasure Schools have the best drop rate, while ice fishing having the worst drop rate. I personally don't like the Magma area, so I'm fishing at Prismatic Schools. A good fishing spot usually gets you 10 items per hour, so around 1500 reputation, a little bit above half a level per hour. Winding from Venon 13 to 30 with fishing, as well as joining the community soup every 3.5 hours, will take you about 20 to 25 hours. Bonus, the fishing prices are really good and you easily make minimum 20k per hour, no matter what you fish. The last of the Venon factions, the White Dragon Accord, is quite depressing. After unlocking all the quests at the Obsidian Citadel and picking Refune as your friend, as there is no other choice, you can grind key fragments and keyframes to create obsidian keys, which can be turned in for the dragon reputation at 50 reputation per key. Free nerf, a good spot, gave you around 35 keys per hour, around 1700 reputation per hour. Nowadays it's about 20 25 keys an hour, so around 800 to 1000 reputation per hour. As the quests dry up around Venon 12 to 13, achieving Venon 30. With a dragon should take you around 50 to 60 hours of pure grinding. Bonus faction the Atisan Consortium. While you don't have an infinite grind, but you still want to max the reputation with them, you should do every world quest with the consortium contract, but you can also drop your profession and pick up a new one. Every profession has a unique weekly quest at skill 25, skill 45 and 50, rewarding you with a bonus of 500 reputation per profession. If you wondered how people have them at rank 4, named the steam already, that is how. There are a couple things I did not mention because it didn't fit in the grinding focus guide I wanted to make, so here they are in no order. Baking Shore and Tedressus Wares have a one time bonus reputation for Red Wrecken. There are special weekly events such as the Caravan or the Trial of the Elements in Onharan Plains giving 400 reputation each to the Centauren. Trial of the Elements in Taitrasu for 500 reputation. Every Venon has two quest lines for roughly one and a half levels of free Venon, but Dragon has Titan Relics from Elementates or Dragon Lights for barely 15 reputation each. And I'm sure there are a couple other minor things. I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you like and subscribe, this helps me a lot. 
And if you found some good reputation trick you want to share, let us know in the comments. I take any web I can get. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.